Every day, miners draw their lamps and self-rescuers and go on shift. It's all routine, but today isn't routine. smell of burning, telltale signs of an emergency, even for those a long way from the incident. Explosions, a blast of air like that from a ventilation door slamming, further indication that the ventilation system of the pit has been disturbed. One or all of these signs is enough to tell you that the air may now be contaminated with carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is a product of combustion. It's a deadly poisonous, colourless and tasteless gas which also has no smell. And it can kill. The self-rescuer is your only safeguard against carbon monoxide poisoning. How do you know when to put on your self-rescuer? Answer the following questions by ticking what you think is the right answer on your worksheet. Which of these may give you a warning of the presence of carbon monoxide? Is it when A. You see smoke or B. When you see a red light? Tick A or B, whichever you think right. There's a warning your nose tells you about, a smell. Is it A, the smell of petrol, or B, the smell of burning? Tick the one you think right. Is it a warning when you hear A, the sound of an explosion, or B, the sound of a whistle? Tick A or B. Finally, there is a warning you can feel. Is it a warning when A, you feel cold, or B, you feel a rush of air? I'm sure you got them all right. Let's check your answers. The first warning of carbon monoxide could be the presence of smoke or the air becoming hazy. There could be a smell of burning. You might hear the sound of an explosion. And you could feel a sudden rush of air. Then you don't wait for anyone to tell you. Put on your self-rescuer. Now, next question, why do you put it on? Is it to guard against A, methane, or B, carbon monoxide? Tick A or B. Yes, as a guard against the deadly gas carbon monoxide, which can make you unconscious in seconds. Next question, what scent has carbon monoxide? 
Has it A, the scent of oil, or B, the scent of pear drops? Neither. Carbon monoxide has no smell. It's odourless, tasteless, and colourless too, for that matter. So it's difficult to detect. All you've got to go on are the indicators which warn it may be present. The sight of smoke or haze, the smell of burning, the sound of an explosion, and the feel of a blast of air. You can't afford to take chances. Better to wear your self-rescuer in error than to die in doubt. Your self-rescuer must be carried on your belt at all times. And, correctly placed, it will freely slide forward in an emergency. Now let's look at how we take the self-rescuer out of its container. First of all, try to hold your breath to avoid inhaling carbon monoxide. Slide the container along your belt to the center of your stomach. Hold the base in one hand, and with the other, push up the red lever to break the seal. Pull the lever up towards you to release the container. Take off the lid. You're left holding the base. Unfold the harness straps. Grip them firmly in one hand, and pull straight upwards while holding down the container with the other hand. Got the idea? Now you get ready. We'll try it together. Right. Now make sure your self-rescuer is fitted on your belt correctly. Check that your neighbour has his on correctly too. Be ready to take it out of its container with me. Here we go. Remember, try to hold your breath to stop inhaling carbon monoxide. Slide the container to the middle of your stomach. Hold the base in one hand, and with the other, push up the red lever to break the seal. Pull the lever upwards to release the container. Take off the lid. You are left holding the base. Unfold the head harness straps, grip them firmly with one hand, and pull straight upwards, holding the lower part of the container down with the other hand. It's tightly packed to prevent damage, and it may need a strong, steady pull to free it. Good. Now relax. Pulling the self-rescuer out by the head straps in the way I've shown you is the quickest and most effective way of getting it out without damage. If you can't get it out from the bottom container, don't panic. It will work effectively even with the container attached. Now you've got the self-rescuer out of its container, let's see how you put it on. Watch me first. Remember, you're still trying to hold your breath. Insert the rubber flange inside your lips and bite on the mouthpiece lugs. Keep your mouth shut tight and fit the nose clip to the soft part of your nose. Now breathe out through the rescuer. Continue to breathe only through it. Do not talk. Take your helmet off, pull the harness over your head and check that the rescuer fits snugly, adjusting the head straps if necessary. Replace your helmet. Now, you get ready to do it with us. Take a breath and put the rubber flange inside your lips. Bite on the mouthpiece. Keep your mouth shut and don't talk. Place the nose clip onto the soft part of your nose. Now, by breathing only through the self-rescuer and with your nose blocked, no contaminated air can get into your lungs to kill you. Take off your helmet. Pull the harness over your head 
and adjust the straps. Check that the respirator fits snugly and put your helmet back on. Continue to breathe through your self-rescuers and check your neighbours to see that he's put it on properly. Now we'll try from the beginning again, all in one go. Take off your self-rescuers and we'll stop the programme until you are ready with the next self-rescuer on your belt. Next question, why do you put it on? Is it to guard against A, methane, or B, carbon monoxide? Tick A or B. Yes, as a guard against the deadly gas carbon monoxide, which can make you unconscious in seconds. Next question. What scent has carbon monoxide? Has it A, the scent of oil, or B, the scent of pear drops? Neither. Carbon monoxide has no smell. It's odourless, tasteless, and colourless too, for that matter. So it's difficult to detect. All you've got to go on are the indicators which warn it may be present. The sight of smoke or haze, the smell of burning, the sound of an explosion and the feel of a blast of air. You can't afford to take chances. Better to wear your self-rescuer in error than to die in doubt. Your self-rescuer must be carried on your belt at all times and, correctly placed, it will freely slide forward in an emergency. Now let's look at how we take the self-rescuer out of its container. First of all, try to hold your breath to avoid inhaling carbon monoxide. Slide the container along your belt to the centre of your stomach. Hold the base in one hand and with the other, push up the red lever to break the seal. Pull the lever up towards you to release the container. Take off the lid. You're left holding the base. Unfold the harness straps. Grip them firmly in one hand and pull straight upwards while holding down the container with the other hand. Got the idea? Now you get ready. We'll try it together. Right, now make sure your self-rescuer is fitted on your belt correctly. Check that your neighbour has his on correctly too. Be ready to take it out of its container with me. Here we go. Remember, try to hold your breath to stop inhaling carbon monoxide. Slide the container to the middle of your stomach. Hold the base in one hand and with the other push up the red lever to break the seal. Pull the lever upwards to release the container. Take off the lid. You are left holding the base. Unfold the head harness straps. Grip them firmly with one hand and pull straight upwards, holding the lower part of the container down with the other hand. It's tightly packed to prevent damage and it may need a strong, steady pull to free it. Good. Now relax. Pulling the self-rescuer out by the head straps in the way I've shown you is the quickest and most effective way of getting it out without damage. If you can't get it out from the bottom container, don't panic. It will work effectively even with the container attached. Now you've got the self-rescuer out of its container, let's see how you put it on. Watch me first. Remember, you're still trying to hold your breath. 
insert the rubber flange inside your lips and bite on the mouthpiece lugs. Keep your mouth shut tight and fit the nose clip to the soft part of your nose. Now breathe out through the rescuer. Continue to breathe only through it. Do not talk. Take your helmet off, pull the harness straps over your head and check that the rescuer fits snugly, adjusting the head straps if necessary. Replace your helmet. Now, you get ready to do it with us. Take a breath and put the rubber flange inside your lips. Bite on the mouthpiece. Keep your mouth shut and don't talk. Place the nose clip onto the soft part of your nose. Now, by breathing only through the self-rescuer and with your nose blocked, no contaminated air can get into your lungs to kill you. Take off your helmet. Pull the harness over your head and adjust the straps. Check that the respirator fits snugly and put your helmet back on. Continue to breathe through your self-rescuers and check your neighbours to see that he's put it on properly. Now we'll try from the beginning again, all in one go. Take off your self-rescuers and we'll stop the programme until you are ready with the next self-rescuer on your belt. Right, we'll just watch our demonstrator doing it right through this time and then you'll do it right through with us. The moment you're aware of an emergency, hold your breath to prevent breathing in deadly carbon monoxide. Slide the container to the middle of your stomach. Hold the base in one hand. With the other, push up the red lever to break the seal. Pull the lever up towards you to release the container. Take off the lid. You're left holding the base of the container. Unfold the harness straps, grip them firmly with one hand and pull straight upwards, holding down the lower part of the container with the other hand. Throw away the container. If you can't get the respirator out of the container, don't panic. Put the rubber flange of the mouthpiece inside your lips and bite on it. Keep your mouth shut tight and fit the nose clip over the soft part of your nose. Now breathe out through the rescuer. Continue to breathe only through it. Do not talk. Take off your helmet, pull the harness straps over your head and adjust them to make sure the respirator fits snugly. Replace your helmet. Ready? Now you try with us. First of all, try to hold your breath.
slide the container along your belt to the middle of your stomach. Hold it in one hand. With the other, push up the red lever to break the seal. Pull the lever upwards to release the container. Take off the lid. You're left holding the base of the container. Unfold the head harness straps and pull straight up while holding down the bottom of the container with your other hand. Throw away the container. Put the rubber flange of the mouthpiece inside your lips. Bite on the mouthpiece. Clip the nose clip on the soft part of your nose. Now breathe, but only through the self-rescuer. If you should lose the nose clip, just pinch your nostrils. Now take your helmet off, pull the harness straps over your head, adjusting them if necessary. Check that the respirator fits snugly. Put your helmet back on. Check that your neighbour has his self-rescuer on properly. Keep your mouth shut. Do not talk or you'll be dead. Keep your self-rescuer on till someone in authority tells you that it's safe to take it off. Your self-rescuer operates by converting poisonous carbon monoxide into a non-poisonous atmosphere. This chemical reaction generates heat. The more contaminated the air, the hotter your breathing will become. This heat is a measure of how effectively your self-rescuer is working. Do not run. Exertion will only make you breathless and increase the heat and discomfort. If your mouth and throat become hot and parched, swallow saliva. Do not remove your self-rescuer. It could be fatal. Walk away from the incident towards fresh air and safety. And remember, no talking in any circumstances. When it's safe, right, and only then, you will be told to remove your self-rescuer by someone in authority. You can take yours off too now, and get ready to answer some more questions. Are you ready? Answer the following questions on your worksheet. If you have to wear a self-rescuer down the pit, would you A. Ring the pit bottom and report the incident or B. Keep your mouth shut. Next, would you A. Run for help or B. Walk away from the incident towards fresh air. Let's check your answers. That's right. B. Mouth shut and no talking in any circumstances. And B again. You walk. You don't run. Now, last question. When do you take your self-rescuer off? Is it A, when it gets hot, or B, when told by somebody in authority? That's right. B, yet again. You must not remove your self-rescuer until someone in authority tells you it's safe to do so. Self-rescuers are for emergencies. No one must go down the pit without one.
but it's no use learning how to use it if, when an emergency occurs, it's not on your belt or isn't working because it's been damaged. Every person must examine his self-rescuer before going underground. If it's damaged or suspected of being faulty in any way, you must return it to the lamp room attendant at once. If damage is observed while underground, report it to an official and to the lamp room attendant at the end of the shift. Self-rescuers are examined regularly to ensure that they are not externally damaged by dents or holes. A broken seal could allow moisture to ruin the self-rescuer. Selected batches are regularly sent for laboratory analysis. Stringent tests ensure that all those in service are in A1 condition. Now you're going to put on your third self-rescuer in total darkness. We'll give you time to get ready and then continue in sound only. Now, hold your breath. Slide the container along your belt to the middle of your stomach. Hold it in one hand. With the other, push up the red lever to break the seal. Pull the lever upwards to release the container. Take off the lid. You're left holding the base of the container. Unfold the head harness straps and pull straight up while holding down the bottom of the container with your other hand. Throw away the container. Put the rubber flange of the mouthpiece inside your lips. Bite on the mouthpiece. Clip the nose clip onto the soft part of your nose. Now breathe, but only through the self-rescuer. If you should lose the nose clip, just pinch your nostrils. Now take your helmet off, pull the harness straps over your head, adjusting them if necessary. Check that the respirator fits snugly. Put your helmet back on. Now open your eyes and take off your respirators. If you've managed to put on your self-rescuer in the dark, well done. If you didn't quite manage it this time, try it again. It could save your life.